Hi everyone, and welcome to Mental Health Minute. My name is Esther, and I'm one of the crisis counselors with the Mobile Crisis Assessment Team, also known as MCAT, here at the Neighborhood Center. And this week, we're going to be talking about coping skills, specifically what they are, how they can help, and how to use them. Um, and at first, I want to define coping skills because I think it can be used as a general term. Overall, a coping skill can be either an activity or an action that can help you get to a better mental state in that moment um, to a baseline where you feel more comfortable. Now, that baseline looks different for everybody else, but the main thing is, is a coping skill is individual and specific to you to help you get to a place where you are feeling better and more comfortable with yourself. And coping skills can be a really wide range of things. It doesn't just have to be um, something that someone else told you to do, you know, a provider or um, really anyone. And it doesn't have to be something super fancy or technical. It, like I said, it could be any activity that helps you get to where you feel more comfortable. And some examples include meditation. Deep breathing is a really common one. Going for a walk. A lot of people like to use music, um, you know, play video games. Um, watch um, TV or a movie, call someone, whether it's a family, a friend, or their counselor or provider, just to kind of talk and vent, um, cooking, uh, arts and crafts, crocheting, it could really be anything, um, and it's really individualized. Um, and a lot of people actually day-to-day -day do things are, that are coping skills but aren't identifying as them. Um, so it's, it's sometimes good to kind of just look at your day identify when you might be having a hard time and what you do to deal with that hard time to distract yourself to move on and that is a coping skill so like i said it doesn't have to be anything super fancy um but i think the most important thing when using a coping skill is um to consciously be using it so to when i mean that to deliberately be using an activity to help yourself get to a better state of mind. So let's say someone's feeling very anxious and they're trying to kind of bring down that anxiety. Instead of just saying, all right, I'm just gonna go watch TV for a little bit. It could be framed to say, okay, I'm gonna go watch TV for, or two episodes of a show or half an hour and really use that to try to distract me from my thoughts. And at the end of the half an hour, I'm gonna check in with myself or evaluate and see where I am. And if that coping skill, that activity helped. And if not, then maybe trying something else. So that's what I mean by coping skills should be deliberate. It should be when you're utilizing them, it should be with a conscious effort to help yourself get where you wanna be emotionally or mentally in that time. Um, so I think it's really good if you are going to utilize a coping scale, one, identify it, two, give it a parameter, you know, a time limit, you know, I'm going to, like I said, TV for this amount of time, or I'm going to go walk, or, you know, I'm going to make a, a craft project, craft project, and that'd be it. So I think if you're using a coping skill, make sure to identify that you're doing so, give it a parameter, and once you're done using it or that parameter is reached, check in with yourself, see how that coping skill made you feel. And if it didn't help, that's okay. It's not a one and done. You might want to use another coping skill or and take a little break and then try it again. But the important thing is, is to be really consciously aware of what your goals are with the activities and coping skills that you're doing. And if they're not working, just try something else, try again and just identify the hard work that you're doing in that moment. And once you accomplish that goal, it's hopefully gonna help you feel much better. And then you have that in your pocket. So next time you might be feeling anxious or depressed or just struggling, you can say, hey, this helped last time. I can utilize this again. So that's kind of a very general um, um, little snippet about coping skills. Um, it's really good to, even if you're not quite struggling there to just have something, like I said, in your pocket to be able to utilize whenever you or someone else that you know might be needing to have some sort of skill there. Um, so that's kind of it for this week. Um, as always, if you or someone you know is looking for mental health support, we encourage you to call MCAT the mobile crisis assessment team here at the Neighborhood Center. We are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we are free of charge. And our number is 
315-732-6228. Again, 315-732-6228. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next edition of Mental Health Minute. Have a great day.